All right, in this video, what we're going to look at is how to draw a hole that needs to be tapped. Um, and uh, to start with, they have given us a M24 um, hole that needs some thread in it. Okay, so first of all, you can see it says M24 times two. Now, what do they mean by that? They mean that, first of all, I need to drill a hole a bit smaller than that 24 diameter, so that when I tap the thread into it, I have some material to cut away. So here you go, you can sort of see what they've done over here. Um, they've got the hole over, over here. This little gap over here between the thread and the hole itself is a two millimeter gap. We get that from this multiplied by two. Okay, M24 multiplied by two means that the thread that I'm cutting in is two millimeters. Over here, you can see the hole. Over here, you can see the thread that's been cut into the hole. And that gap over here is two millimeters on that side, two millimeters on that side, giving me four millimeters. So the hole that I need to first of all drill is a, it's a 20 millimeter hole, 20 millimeter diameter hole. Take your circle stencil, get it placed over your, your uh, center lines over here. It's a nice dark, nice dark, circle that you can draw in there okay I'm going to drop some construction lines down here construction line coming down there a construction line coming down there um, they tell you that um, to the base of the hole you've got 25 plus 10 so that's a hole 35 35 millimeters measure that off Come to the piece of material that you're working with, mark that off on that center line, and you can draw a nice dark line coming across there. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to draw a line going straight up there, a line straight up there, and I'm going to then take my 30 degree set square and I'm going to draw in. A little line going like that and a little line going like that all right that represents the drill bit that drilled down into this remember that the end of the drill bit is sort of pointed and that's why we've got that shape at the bottom with my 30 degree set square right the second part of this thing um, here you can see that I have a threaded hole all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw in my 24. I'm going to be using a 0.3 pencil though to draw the thread. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. Take my 24, place that over there, over the center lines. Let's just get that squared up properly. There we go. Make sure it's exactly right. When you're doing this, it's not a full circle. It is a little circle that goes around over here using a 0.3 pencil. Note there is a little gap over there, okay? Very important that you've got that little gap showing the thread. And then you take your 0.5 pencil and you take your 20 millimeter um, showing the hole that you're drawing. Get that all nicely lined up. Hopefully it's nicely centered. And I can now draw in a nice dark 0.5. You'll be able to see the difference in the line thickness between that center hole and the thread that's being cut in there. That little break shows the break in the thread that you'd need in order to engage the bolt or whatever that needs to come and fit into that hole. Right, um, next thing is to drop some construction lines down. There's a light construction line coming down from the thread over there, from the thread over there, from the hole over there, from the hole over there, okay. You can go about drawing in the hole exactly as you did in the last drawing. So that line going across there, that line going up there, that line going up there. Take my 30 degree set square again, draw a 30 degree line coming down to that center line there, take a 30 degree line coming down to the center line over there and now I can draw in the thread it tells you that the thread goes down 
to 25 millimeters down from the top there. So I measure off that 25 quickly. There we go. Take that, pop that in over there. You draw a nice dark line going all the way across to where the thread is. So a nice dark line going all the way across to where the thread is. Okay. Once you've got that, you take your 60 degree set square. Now this is where you swap pencils. Please note, there's my 0.5 pencil. There's my 0.3 pencil. I'm going to take my 60 degree set square and I'm going to draw in, if this pencil will work for me, a nice 0.3 line going across here. And 60 degrees again, 0.3 line going across there at 60 degrees. I'm going to take my 0.3 and draw a line going up to the top over here and my 0.3 pencil going up to the top over there. Right, once I've got that in place, I now need to hatch this. You take your 0.3 pencil and you're going to go across this whole thing, hatching it as fast as you can. Push your pencil when you're hatching. Right, carrying on, stops at the hole, continues on the other side of that hole. Note the little score mark that I've got on my set square. You should be able to do that. Now, I want you to watch this. When you are, when there's nothing in the threaded hole, you cut through the thread itself. Okay, note where I'm starting there. It starts on the hole itself, going through the thread. Okay, um, and we'll show you what that looks like when there's a bolt in the hole a little bit, little bit later. There I go, carry on. Doing that as fast as I can. Goes through the thread, goes through the thread. Goes through the thread, goes through the thread there. Okay, continues through the thread. Continues through the thread. When I'm using the set square, note that I'm just lining this line on top of the line that I just drew, and you can then Get that even spacing going all the way. There we go. Try not to go over the lines when you're hatching. Um, you would lose some marks if you go over the lines, so don't lose those marks when you're hatching. Right, there we go. There is the completed drawing. Please note the idea. Oh note this, I actually made a bit of a mistake over here. I need to go through the thread when there's nothing in there with my hatching. So there's the threaded part. You can see the thread over here. I'm just gonna darken that in a little bit with that 0.3. There's the thread over there. The hatching is going through the thread up to the side of the hole that was originally prepared for the tapping of that hole. All right, tapping means cutting the thread into the hole. Right, that's the end of that, and hopefully you guys will get that done, no problems.